Hey guys, so today we just quickly having a look at a SunSync inverter installation. Um, this is the SunSync 5 kilowatt inverter and it is, as you can see, it's connected to the Wi-Fi through that little dongle and uh, above it is the, the revolved battery that is currently powering the system. Uh, we've got a fuse just on the side for the DC side of the battery or the battery cables. We've got battery communications from the can to the inverter and uh, so there you can see everything is reading from the battery and connected. And all right, I think I'm quickly going to open up the cover of the inverter. So just to show you the wiring and what we did there. Uh, on the sides, we've got two boxes installed from the electrician to manage the whole system and give everything power and, and make everything safe. So we'll have a look at that quickly. All right, so I've taken off the front cover quickly. So what we connected is the CT coil and also the relay for the earth neutral bond. We have got a load connected and we've got the grid connected to the inverter. This is where the CAN cable from the battery goes. Oh, and on the battery we had to set the jumper number one to on just for the inverter to, to be able to read or communicate with the battery. So I've just closed up the inverter again. Um, on the display you can see that the, at the moment it's drawing very little power so there's not a not a, lo a big load that that doesn't matter now um, all I want to show you is actually the neutral bond let me just the neutral earth bond that we did I'm just gonna quickly open up here um, so what we've got is our inverter power uh, feeding the inverter from the main power of the grid and on this side we've got our little contactor for the inverter to just make the earth neutral bond. Um, also a search arrestor obviously. Uh, here we've got our inverter isolator and let me just, I am going to switch off the power of the inverter. So that's the, the power from the grid. And as soon as I do that, we drop the grid and we lose an earth neutral bond. And that is what this contactor will do. So if I switch that off, you can see that the contactor immediately switched. And now the neutral is bonded to earth again and it's a safe installation. So we have to do that with the SunSync inverters because they do not do an earth neutral bond on inside of the inverter itself. So let me just quickly switch this on again. So that, um, that does take a minute for the neutral bond to, to go back to the grid side, but it stays safe. Um, in any case, it's, it's it's earthed in the correct way with uh, this kind of installation. What, uh, what I showed previously on the inside of the inverter is the uh, connection that we, we, run, we, we run the signal cable or the remote cable to switch that relay from the inverters live and neutral little port there that is meant for that. Uh, or, and in the menu you have to to make that work in the menu you have to go to the battery settings and uh, at the battery charge you have to switch this on signal islanding mode if that's not on the relay won't switch okay I just heard it there we go it just switched back and now it's back to the earth from the grid earth neutral bond, uh, earth neutral bond on the grid, grid side 
so yeah these are my settings uh, oh on the battery side for that uh, revolve battery what I normally do is I just put it on 100 amps and whatever we we, had, we don't have solar uh, solar power at the moment so these are just the quick few settings that I normally insert into the inverter I must say the lithium setting where they activate does take over the communication from the battery the, the, it it keeps it from overcharging so it will never charge more than let's say yeah 40 amps or discharge more than 80 amps and uh, that is because i have manual settings in here if there is not manual settings in the battery settings this this 40 amp and and whatever i've put in here if that's not in there, if I put this to 100 amps, the Ally BMS will just go up to a maximum of 80. So it does limit it, but if you have manual settings in there, that will also determine the speed that you charge this battery with. If I can just maybe drop down here quickly, um, we've got our battery cables there. This we just used for the comms and... Uh, earth wire and on this you can see there's the little uh, logger these are just the power cables and over there chassis of the inverter is earth chassis of the batteries earth i would say these things are pretty important we have one client that is actually at this stage without an inverter because of a lightning struck strike uh, to his house and everything is blown up battery inverter everything so yeah this is just a quick video to show you how this installation looks maybe i'll do some more in the future um yeah so thanks for watching and um hopefully this just gives you a good idea of how a setup can look and oh yeah keep your dc and ac separate <laughs> thanks for watching and uh yeah good luck <laughs>